who gets to decide if someone is simply possessing drugs or if they are possessing the drugs with the intention to distribute, right? So that's kind of a complicated question. The ultimate answer is a jury, but let's talk about how we get there. So law enforcement, uh, the, the, the cops are gonna have the first opportunity to decide whether to charge someone with possession or uh, if they wanna take that a step up, if they think they have enough probable cause to believe that the person that possessed them, the drugs, and intended to distribute them, okay? Once the, the law enforcement decides that, the prosecutors, so the lawyers who, who uh, prosecute people, uh, who put people in jail, those people are gonna have a chance to review the uh, evidence in the case, the police reports, the body-worn camera footage, those kind of things. They're gonna get to decide when they're crafting the formal charges, the accusation, the indictment, whether to include a possession with intent charge, which ups the ante in many cases to a 30-year prison sentence from a possession case, which may carry only three years uh, maximum. So it's a big decision, right? But the prosecutors and the cops do not get to convict people. Ultimately, whether someone possessed the intention to distribute a drug or not is going to be a factual question that is reserved for members of the jury, peers of the defendant. Um, and certainly, uh, if, if someone has been falsely accused of possessing that intention to distribute, they are going to be able to plead not guilty. They're going to be able to have a jury of their peers, uh, 12 of them, uh, try their case. And the jury is going to be able to make that final factual decision about whether a case was possession, uh, possession with intent or nothing at all.